How are you doing, Mark? You all right? Come on, we're not going through this again. You didn't tell me he was going to be that long. I had stuff to do. I'm sorry. You know what, Dennis? I had a dream last night that you passed away. <laughs> it wasn't violent, it wasn't malicious, and you didn't suffer too much. But all I knew was, it was the happiest time of my life. When you did pass away, for the first time in my life, I felt happy. <laughs> I enjoyed watching you not being able to move. And I enjoyed my first steps to freedom. You got none. You don't even exist. Michael, I know you're up there listening. Everything I said earlier, you know, I did not mean at all. It come from a bad place. I was angry. It was in the heat of the moment. Look, could you just come down here? Just let us talk about it. Let's start over again. You know how important you are to me. You want me? Come and get me. You son of a bitch! Come on, where are you hiding? Come on! Come on, you son of a bitch! Get out of here! Quit your hiding! Come on! <laughs> oh! Hello there, Dennis. You didn't really try that. That was your plan. To get rid of me. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear me. Come on out here, you son of a bitch. Where are you hiding? Come on. Oh dear me, he's on the ground again. Dennis, I offered you everything. All I wanted was to be treated like a normal person. But no, you couldn't do that for me, could you? Instead, you left me to rot away like an old bird in an old dusty cage. You know what? You don't get any more chances this time. I'm going to leave you. You're going to rot in your own cage. I almost wish I could pity you.